Hi everyone, this is Uday here. I welcome you all to the course and uh, you all know that we are uh, discussing about the December month current affairs in the form of MCQ. And uh, this is the lesson 4 and uh, we are primarily concentrating on the 2020 IAS prelims. Okay, let's move on to the question. So, so far we have seen 13 questions and this is the 14th question. Consider the following statement about Starlink network project. Statement 1. It is a project of NASA. Statement 2. The Starlink network is one of the several ongoing effort to start beaming data signals from space. So we need to choose the right answer here. So pause the video and try to answer it. So here if you see uh, the first statement with regards to Starlink data, uh, sorry, a network project. It is a project of NASA. No, it is not a project of NASA because it is being uh, done by uh, one of the uh, uh, biggest private space agency that is SpaceX okay so SpaceX is the agency that is actually uh, working on this particular Starlink network project so uh, first option is uh, first uh, statement is wrong second statement the Starlink network is one of the several ongoing effort to start beaming data signals from the space so that's a right statement and it is uh, one of the several ongoing effort because many of the organizations across the uh, across the globe are doing it and uh, SpaceX is doing it in a uh, bigger way okay so here you can see the answer is B okay SpaceX the world's leading uh, private company in space technology last has launched 60 satellites into the low earth orbit under the Starlink network project okay so uh, we have seen that the Starlink uh, network project is uh, being uh, conducted by SpaceX and they are launching satellites for it so why they are actually uh, launching satellites they have launched 60 satellites is the latest news okay so if you see that uh, they are actually trying to make a constellation okay a constellation of nearly 12,000 satellites so that is their aim so by making such a constellation of uh, satellites they are trying to beam internet okay beam uh, data signals from space so that is the important aim of this starlink project okay so they are uh, launching the uh, sa satellites and uh, making it as a constellation from there they are actually going to beam the data signals okay so just uh, imagine it so that you can uh, be easily uh, uh, getting the point okay and uh, the aim of this particular project is to provide low cost and reliable space based internet service to the world so uh, when you are uh, when you are projecting uh, the data from the space it can reach any any region of uh, the earth right so in in that way it it provides low cost internet and reliable space based internet service okay so uh, one of the important uh, thing is that it is very cheap it is going to be cheap and it is going to be fast to remote areas there is uh, once starlink it comes into existence there will be no place on the earth that uh, is without internet okay that will be a situation uh, that is what is being forecasted or uh, projected out of this Starlink network project and uh, you will be having uh, internet in airplanes that is also going to be possible ship car plus make international telecom and online gaming nearly lag free okay that is also it is not going to be slow so let's move on to 15th consider the following statement about mnemonic plague statement one it is only type of plague that can be transmitted from human to human Statement 2, according to WHO, mnemonic plague is the most virulent form of plague. So we need to choose the right answer here. So what could be the answer? So here if you see, the answer is, both the statements are right. Okay. So mnemonic plague is basically, it is the only type of plague. So uh, plague is basically uh, classified into three types. Okay. I, it is there in the explanation. Anyway, before going into that, uh, we will see uh, why these two options are right. Uh, there are two only, uh, sorry, it is the only type of plague. Actually, there are three types of plague, okay. In that, mnemonic plague is one of the type and it is the only type to be transmitted from human to human. So, that is the uh, point you need to uh, know. And uh, the statement two, according to WHO, mnemonic plague is the most virulent form of plague. Yes, that's right. And then so the answer is C. So here if you see, uh, the it was in news because two people in, in Beijing were recently diagnosed with pneumonic plague, which is known to be the deadliest version of the disease. 
So as I already said, uh, there are three types of plague and that is uh, bubonic plague, pneumonic plague and septicemic plague. Okay, so these are the three types. Just make a note of it or uh, uh, just understand it. So it was in Beijing uh, where, where it has been diagnosed uh, that uh, two people have been uh, diagnosed with pneumonic plague. So let's understand uh, in a sh brief manner what is bubonic, uh, pneumonic and septicemic. So in bubonic, the infect it infects the person's limbic system. So what is that limbic system? It is basically the immune system of a person. Okay. So when uh, the infection is in the immune system, it is uh, uh, sorry in bubonic plague the in, in uh, immunity system of the person is affected and uh, it causes inflammation in uh, lymph nodes. Uh, it left if left untreated the bubonic plague can also convert into either pneumonic or septicemic plague so if bubonic plague is not uh, treated or it is a uh, left uh, untreated it is going to convert itself into pneumonic which is going to be very deadly and uh, septicemic which is again uh, a form of uh, seriousness okay uh, but not as uh, virulent as pneumonic plague okay so uh, it is uh, it is going to be convert if it is not untreated and the symptom uh, symptoms are basically fever chillness uh, chills weakness and headaches so these are going to be the uh, symptoms of it and uh, pneumonic plague is something uh, which is uh, according to who is the most virulent form of plague and can be fatal within 24 to 72 hours so if someone is uh, getting uh, uh, affected because of pneumonic plague it can be fatal in 22 to 72 hours and it occurs when the bacteria infects the lungs so lungs is something uh, the main area which the pneumonic plague affects and it is only a type of plague that can be transmitted from human to human so that is something that we have already seen and symptoms are chest pain fever and cough it is highly contagious that is it can spread from person to person and transmissible uh, merely by coughing so just by coughing it can be easily transmitted and septicemic plague and this is when the bacteria enters the bloodstream and multiplies there so when it is affecting the bloodstream it is going to be a septicemic plague when it is going to be uh, affecting the lungs it is a pneumonic plague and when it is affecting the immune system it is bubonic plague so sorry plague so these are the three different plagues uh, keep a note of it and uh, know where it is affecting so bubonic immune system pneumonic uh, lungs uh, septicemic it is affecting the blood so 16th question consider the following statement about zero carbon law statement 1 it has been passed by India statement 2 it has been passed by New Zealand statement 3 it provides a framework by which country will be able to develop and implement climate change policies in line with the Paris agreement so here we need to uh, choose the right answer so pass the video and try it out so here's if you see uh, so this kind of question okay this is a typical question which will appear on UPSC preliminary examination uh, but what they will not do is I'll tell you uh, if you see here uh, the first uh, statement is saying that it has been passed by India so when we see such a question in the exam hall okay so we actually tend to select this question as right okay if we doesn't know the topic it is normal that we tend to uh, think that this option should be right because we are writing the Indian Civil Service exam right Indian Civil Service exam Civil Service exam uh, connected by UPSC so it is uh, it is a normal thinking that it can be India we will not choose this option or either there will be no option like uh, it is saying that it has been passed by New Zealand there will be only one option which says which says uh, it has been passed by India and the second option will be uh, something else so while choosing it we might choose tend to choose this as a right answer but without knowing topic you don't do that that is what is my advice okay so here if you see zero carbon law the first option first statement mentioned here is actually wrong okay this zero carbon law is in in news because it has been passed by New Zealand so I'm just giving you an advice how not to attend a question okay so, so that you can you can understand and uh, apply these things in your exam hall and uh, you do better that is what uh, I'm trying to help you out okay so anyway let's move on to the question so zero carbon law it was passed by New Zealand okay we have already seen 
and the third option it provides a framework for by which the country will be able to develop and implement climate change policies in line with the paris agreement so that's again right so here the answer is c so zero carbon law recently the new zealand parliament has recently passed the zero carbon act which will commit new zealand to zero carbon emission by 2050 or sooner so by 2050 or even before that they are trying to uh, reduce the carbon emission that is they are actually trying to equate zero zero carbon emission that is what they are trying to achieve by or before 2050 and the act is not a separate legislation but it is an amendment to the existing climate change response act so in 2002 there was an act which is existing in uh, new zealand uh, they had an act uh, called climate change response act and they are actually amending it to make this particular zero carbon act or law okay and it provides a framework by which new zealand will be able to develop and implement climate change policies in line with the paris agreement to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees celsius so that is the important aim of paris agreement so what paris agreement ultimately aims to it tries to limit the uh, increase in the temperature of the globe that is the earth uh, by or to 1.5 degree celsius okay limiting uh, well below 1.5 degree celsius is the aim of the paris agreement Let's move on to the next question 17 consider the following statement about international levy fair statement 1 it is held in himachal pradesh statement 2 it is held in sikkim statement 3 it is the biggest fair of the greater himalayas so we need to choose the right option here so what could be the answer pause the video and try it so here if you see the first statement it is held in himachal pradesh or sikkim so uh, again uh, we can see the third option also uh, talks about uh, greater himalayas and himachal pradesh is an himalayan state sikkim is an himachal uh, sorry himalayan state so uh, here the answer is the first statement is right because uh, it was held in himachal pradesh and uh, second option second statement it is wrong and third statement it is right it is the biggest fair of the greater himalayas so uh, as we have already seen uh, it was held in himachal pradesh himachal pradesh governor has inaugurated the four day long international levy fair in shimla state rampur sorry shimla district rampur okay so inaugurated by uh, himachal pradesh governor it is a four day long international levy fair so what is this basically it is a, a unique trade fair okay it is a unique example of glorious social cultural economic history and legacy of himachal pradesh okay and it is a trade fair that is what you need to know and it is a, one of the biggest trade fair of the greater himalayas which is held at rampur bushar so just remember at uh, this particular uh, uh, festival that is international lavi fair okay it is uh, being held in hp that is himalaya sorry himachal pradesh and it is a four day long uh, festival so that's all from our today's lesson guys uh, wait for more lesson to be added i think uh, i am making some effort and it is it is helping you so if it is so subscribe to the channel and uh, so that uh, it will keep me boosted and i'll be making up more lessons more questions for the coming 2020 is prelims and mains as well so uh, since mains is uh, after prelims i am first concentrating on the prelims part okay once it is completed we will concentrate on the mains part as well whatever is needed i'll do it okay